I don't want to brag, but I make a lot of money doing comedy. <laughs> so much that I had to move in with my mom, so. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those full circle moments, people. Yeah, it's, I thought it was gonna be cool hanging out with my mom at this age, but it's not. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm a 40-year-old man, people. You know how hard it is to look your mom in the face as you hand over her unmentionables, you know? It's just, <laughs> laundry day is just horrible for <laughs> me. I hate it. Like, folding her underwear was not on my vision board, people. Like, it just... <laughs> uh, it's just so awkward all the time. But I figured out a way around it. Now I just hang them on her bedroom doorknob. <laughs> I take a picture and I text it to her like an Amazon driver. That's what I do. Because <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> and don't worry, I make sure they're all stable together just like DoorDash. <laughs> So she knows nobody else touched them. <laughs> yeah, I live with three women, man. My mom and my two daughters. Yeah, and a cat. <laughs> so there's hair everywhere. <laughs> you ever showered after three women, people? You ever showered after three women? It's disgusting. You get in the shower, seven different kinds of body wash, right? There's hair on the walls. There's hair on the shower curtain. There's hair on the ceiling. Just hair floating past you. It's just like, what is this? And never shower after a woman has deep conditioned her hair. That stuff is like black ice on the bottom of a tub, people. I've had three concussions this past year alone. I have to shower with a bicycle helmet on now. It's horrible. But I'll be 42 this year, people. 42, yeah. Yeah. Where are my people at that's 40 and over? Where are we at? We in here? We're in here. And we're sleepy, aren't we? Just a little bit. We don't want to be, I don't want to be here. Like, Because when you're in your 20s and early 30s, everything is like, woo! When you're over 40, this is it right here. This is all we're doing for the rest of the... I don't know about you, but I'm trying to get home, get out of these jeans, and sit on the edge of the bed and scratch a little bit. You ever do that? Just... just really concentrate and get in there, turn on some Hulu, and just really just get in there. Uh, that inner thigh meat gets dry when you get 40 for some reason. It just... My body's changing, that's all, man, you know. My hairline started having to track me to the back of my neck, just <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, sir. <laughs> he understands my plight, but he has a nice round head. You look good, bald, man. You look wonderful, bald. I don't, like, I, like I, I got it shaved down very lightly, but I'm scared to just cut it all the way off, man, because I don't have a nice round head like yours. Look at this, check this out. Bam, you see that? Look at that. <laughs> You see it, right? You see the peak. You see it. You see it over there? You see it? If I cut it all the way off, I'm gonna look like that one brown crayon sticking out of the box. It's... My point is, I like your head, sir. Body is just changing, man. That's, got my first hemorrhoid a few months ago. <laughs> I only thought that happened to old people. Nope. Found it when I was washing up. I didn't even know what it was. I thought I just sat on a gummy bear. I was like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> How did candy get down my pants? This is... What is that? Is that a Jolly Rancher? Where did that come from? Some of you guys are laughing kind of hard. <laughs> you still got some back there, don't you? I know. I know. 
Like, I've been trying to get rid of this for the past two weeks. <laughs> I get it. I know. Trying to date at 42 is not fun. I'm trying to date. That's not fun at all. I'm just not even excited about going on dates. And I can tell I'm not excited about going on dates because I start preparing for my return before I even leave the house. You ever do that? <laughs> I got Hulu on pause. I got my pajamas laid out, food in the microwave. Like, I'm excited to spend time with me. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't care how I dress. Like, it's just a difference now. Like, in 20s and 30s, I would be in the mirror all day like, yeah. <laughs> I look good. <laughs> You getting, uh, going on a date over 40, you just walk past the mirror. I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> just walk out. <laughs> you don't care. Whatever I order, on f like food and stuff, I used to be conscious of that because I'm like, I may get a kiss later, so I don't want to order anything that's going to make my breath sting. Now, I'm like, I don't care. Extra garlic, extra onions. And I'm not rolling down the window when we get in the car either. <laughs> I don't care how cold it is. We're just going to sit in here and hot box these pierogies I just burped up. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> and you're going to sit there and take it like a woman. <laughs> but dudes my age want to date young. They do. They try it. You know, mid-20s, late-20s. You know, I can't do it. The interest level is just too different. I tried it. I'm not going to lie. She was like 26, 27. Invited her over to watch some TV, some Netflix. I'm like, hey, let's check out this documentary. I heard it was real cool. She didn't want to do that. <laughs> she went in the corner and started making TikTok videos. <laughs> I was like, my mom says you got to go. <laughs> That's why I need a woman that understands my needs, you know, understands my body. 40 is not old, it's not, but it's that age where you might get out of a chair and start limping for no reason. Like, oh, that's, not, that's my bad knee right there. A young woman, she's like, you okay? You going to the doctor? I'm like, yeah, I went to the doctor. What did he say? He said it was bad. That's all he said. He just he said I had BAD. That's all he said. He just, it's clicking when I do this, you know what I mean? I'm just not built the same. I'm not. I found that out when I went to the gym. It was leg day, people. I was doing some squats, and guess what happened? I farted. <laughs> yep. Surprised everybody in the gym. <laughs> Including me. I didn't know what to do. That happened on my first rep, people. I didn't do a second rep. I was like, I'm going to just go home. I don't trust myself. You know what I mean? These my good shorts, I don't want to mess them up, you know what I mean? <laughs> I still had the tag on them. I was thinking about taking them back to the store, you know? I was just like, nah, I don't want to do it. Mm -mm. I can't do it. That's why I can't date nobody young, man. I can't. Because they don't understand what we go through when we go to sleep. Because a 20-year-old, 25-year-old, she's just going to go straight to bed. Mm -mm. When you're 40 and over, you got to get ready for bed. <laughs> There's a process. When I get into bed at night, guess what I have to do? I have to put a pillow in between my knees so my hip and my back don't hurt in the morning. I got a pillow underneath this arm right here so I don't roll over on my bad rotator cuff. I got a nasal strip on so I don't suffocate in my sleep. I got a mouthpiece in so I don't grind my teeth down to nothing because I can't sleep. I'm stressed out thinking my daughter's going to kill me in my sleep. And I got a CPAP mask on. Just... <laughs> you ready for round two, girl? Hold on, I gotta pee, I'll be right back. <laughs> so I need a woman that understands me. I need a mature woman. Yes, 45 to 60 years old. That's my age range. That's what I like. I see you out there. I see you. Yes, I love it. High flashes and mustaches. That's what I'm into. Oh. I don't mind a little extra testosterone in your system. 
nothing about it. We can stay at home and arm wrestle if you want to, you know what I mean? That's that type of woman, when she laugh or sneeze, she pee on herself just a little bit. Just... Not a lot, just enough to say, hey, we had a good time, you know what I mean? At this stage of my life, I just want somebody to take a nap with. That's all I want. <laughs> we can wake up, go to the Cracker Barrel, <laughs> eat, come back home, and take another nap. <laughs> hey, guys, thank you, Provo. I appreciate it.